Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series 40th Anniversary R5-D4 GameStop exclusive 6-inch scale action figure. It's really cool to see Hasbro doing more of these 6-inch scale figures on vintage card backs, especially when they're new figures like R5-D4 here. And of course, this is an exclusive figure available only at GameStop. I ordered mine online, I just received it, and reports are coming in that they are now hitting at GameStop stores. As you can see here, the packaging is really nicely done. It very faithfully recreates that Kenner vintage backdrop with a few modifications in order to accommodate the larger action figure size. You also got an only at GameStop sticker. Not a huge fan of that, but since we're opening this up, it's not a big deal to me. But I really do like the packaging. I think it looks great. I love seeing the image there of R5-D4 and Luke and the Jawas. Very nice stuff. At the back, you get a nice look at all of the other figures available in the Black Series 40th Anniversary Collection. We've already looked at most of these figures. Uh, if not in the 40th Anniversary line, then certainly way before when they came out in the regular Black Series line. We're still waiting on the Death Squad Commander. We're still waiting on the Jawa, as well as the Sand People figure. And those should be coming out in Wave 2 of the 40th Anniversary. We also recently looked at the Darth Vader 40th Anniversary Legacy Pack, which I was totally happy with. I think it's a great set. If you haven't checked that out, please do so. Um, so yeah, all in all, really good looking. Disney, Hasbro. So yeah, let's go ahead and spend a little bit of time, get this unboxed. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at R5-D4, compare him to R2-D2, and see what he's like. Okay, now here is that droid with the bad motivator out of the packaging. And uh, I'm mostly liking what I'm seeing here. Aesthetically speaking, I think the sculpt is great. It looks very much like the character as seen in A New Hope. Coloration is good. It's a nice, very vibrant white. You get that red-orange sort of coloration on him. A little bit of dirt and weathering. Nothing too major, but there is a little bit of dust there. All around, it looks good. He stands fine. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at his dome. So as you can see, uh, it is pretty movie accurate. I mean, it definitely looks like they got the sculpting down. Like I said, there is a nice little bit of sand and weathering there, but it's nothing too extreme, nothing too dramatic. It looks good enough. There's a little red dot there in his, um, I don't know, photoreceptor, his eye. <laughs> Which one of these is the eye? Who knows? Um, but it looks great. I mean, all the little details there, like some that silver paint there on the side looks very nice. Get some more of that on the back and on the other side. He's got this little antenna here. It's a little bit soft. I mean, it's not like super rubber or anything, but you can kind of move it. And uh, it's basically the top there. No no up and down panels like we had with R2-D2, unfortunately. And uh, one, one thing that I really like is that little sticker that they have going all the way around the dome, that kind of holographic sticker, just to make it look kind of 70s, <laughs> kind of Star Wars-y. I like it. I dig that. I mean, the way it catches the light, that's just fun. I, I really like that. Uh, the body is identical here to R2-D2. The only thing different, of course, is the dome. So if you have R2, you basically know what to expect with this figure. Uh, it's completely the same. Uh, all of the paneling and everything here is the same. Now you can still open them just like last time. So if you wanted to open those up, he does have some little features. Like right there, you get a little arm. And uh, let's see if we can get it out. Right there, it's a little hard to get out. There we go, so you got that little pop-up arm right there. It's painted pretty nicely. I like the way that looks. And then here for the other one, uh, it's basically just silver and gold. And um, looks cool. If you had a little accessory to give him to hold there, you could do that, but he doesn't come with anything. Just go ahead and push that back in. Uh, very nice. Very nice that it has that. I mean, obviously that wasn't anything he did in the film, and he doesn't have the little pop-up things that R2 has, but hey, I mean, it, it, it's better than nothing. At least they, they maintain one of those features. You also get these little wheels down here in the bottom, just like we had with R2, which is cool. So the legs are pretty nicely done. The wiring on his feet looks good. So just like with R2, you rotate the dome, and his uh, center leg pops down like that. So that's pretty cool. It, it does look a little bit bland. I mean, this was the same thing with R2 is that they didn't really decorate it along uh, the center there, um, but it, it's definitely passable. And as far as articulation goes, obviously you got the dome swivel, you got the leg that pops down. You can also move um, the little ankle joint right here on the center leg as well as the ankle joints on both of uh, the side legs like that. 
and those can adjust too. So, you know, you just play around with it until you get a nice little pose to position him in. Uh, overall, I think he looks good. I do sort of wish he had some of those extra features that we got with R2. Uh, at the very least, I think he should have the bad motivator. I mean, to me, that kind of seems like something he absolutely needs to have as a bad motivator. And unfortunately, that doesn't happen here. Some of the three and three quarter inch R5D4s had that feature. Uh, but this one, unfortunately, does not. And it's kind of a shame because, uh, I mean, we're, we're probably not going to get another R5D4 in this scale for some time. Uh, if ever. So kind of a missed opportunity, but hey, at least you can add R5D4 to your collection. And I think that's pretty cool. Here's a comparison with R2D2, both of them in the tripod configuration, and um, they look pretty good together. Uh, obviously, R2 is a little shorter, which is accurate to the film. And uh, when you have them side by side like this, you can definitely see that they do have the same exact body. Then I'll look at both of these in the regular configuration. And uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy to be getting more Astro McDroids. Uh, of course, there was the Toys R Us pack. And then in the Entertainment Earth exclusive four pack from a couple years ago, there was uh, an Astro McDroid in there. But R5D4 is one of the more known Astro McDroids. And uh, in line with the 40th anniversary theme, he really feels at home amongst these other 40th anniversary figures. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series. 40th anniversary R5-D4. Overall, you guys, I like the figure. I think that it turned out quite nice. Aesthetically speaking, anyway, it looks fantastic. Awesome sculpt. I really love that holographic sticker that goes around his neck. The coloring is really good. And he does have a little bit of weathering on him. Nothing too extreme. It's not overdone. Uh, in fact, maybe they could have put a little bit more on there, but I'm pretty happy with it as is. Articulation, same as we saw with R2. Action features, uh, really the only thing you're gonna do is open up those two front panels and extend his arms outward. Beyond that, there's nothing else going on here, which again, this would have been a prime opportunity to install the bad motivator, but it's not here. So what we got isn't perfect, but it is very good. And uh, particularly as an exclusive figure, I think that it works quite well. So I'm happy with it. If you're trying to track one of these down, be sure to check your local GameStop or check their website online. If you're collecting the six inch line of 40th anniversary figures, definitely add R5D4 to your collection, whether you're opening them up or keeping them in the card, you definitely need to have this guy as well. All right, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, do give us a like, do subscribe. Let me know your own thoughts down below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.